Hi there folks, we're coming today from our three-bin compost system and I decided today it's a good day to check on last year's compost so I want to take you along for that and you can see I have two helpers today one of the newest cats and our toddler So this is the oldest bin which have been capped last autumn and you can see that uh, it has descended maybe half its depth. It was capped about here and gradually it uh, lowered in size and in volume as the uh, stuff we put inside composted. This is the current bin which we are now using. It's almost ready to cap. There are some bees flying around looking for Mm, forage because there's citrus peels here, apple cores and other stuff which uh, is a source of carbo carbohydrates, source of sugars. And this is the other bin which we're currently prepping to start using in spring. You can see I have made a thick layer of branches and uh, sticks and thicker stems at the bottom which will serve as drainage when we start using the compost. So maybe in a couple more weeks or a month we will just put a thick straw and um, leaves cap on here and cover it with the plastic so it won't get too wet in the spring rains and start dumping in here. And in the meantime I have to prep the first bed which um, had six months so far but the bottom part is easily one year old to start uh, drying it out and then sieving it for use in the garden this first bin here we spend the winter covered with this plastic and below that you can see that there is still a layer of leaves and sticks on top and uh, some of the straw and the garden bits which we added, which is not fully composted but we will use this material as bedding for the first tray which we will start using and it will become a type of inoculant because it's already rich in the microbiome which speeds up the composting process as you can see here in the middle that already the Top layers have been almost completely composted. It's been maybe six months. One of the red riggers. They're still working here. The very top layer. This is the newest material which we added in early autumn. And then deeper down, you can see how moist it is, and you can see the sticks and stems which I put inside for structure it's very well composted deeper down it will be even better I can sense that it's very fluffy underneath it's not dense so it's easy to dig into lots of air to speed up the process yep nice crumbly compost so in order to use that I have to first dry it out a bit otherwise I can't see the larger pieces out of it so in order to do that I have to remove the top layer and then start shoveling a bit of the compost out and it starts gradually drying in the dry weather which we're currently having if we're forecasted for rain I just cover it with the plastic sheet so it uh, won't get additionally it won't get any additional moisture and usually by summer when we start planting out stuff this is ready to use as a fertilizer for each of the plants which we'll be putting in the in the ground usually our fertilization routine is uh, using compost in the 
um, seedling pots and then when we planting out the seedlings like uh, tomatoes or cucumbers or whatever in each of the holes which we dig for each of the seedlings we put a handful of the compost roughly sieved and that is the uh, microbiological inoculant or fertilizer which helps our plants grow healthy I wanted to also briefly show you the two sieves which I'm using this is the finer sieve it's a perforated, perforated sheet metal with uh, three millimeter holes and this is two layers of uh, simple mesh square mesh I put two layers because a single layer squares were a bit too large for my needs and this ended up with about uh, one and a half centimeter square holes here this is very easy to work with uh, the coarse compost which we're using it's almost impossible to sieve directly with this one because those holes are uh, too easily clogged but using this sieve you can quickly sieve a couple hundred liters of compost this whole bin can be sieved in uh, maybe 15 minutes to half an hour tops and then you can use the dry and rough sieved material to fine sieve and this is very nice for starting very small seeds in pots and directly in the garden for example for carrots you can spread that very fine material on top of the seeds and you can uh, fertilize as well as cover the seeds and keep the moisture because the compost is uh, very nice at retaining moisture but I'm storing the compost in plastic bags rough sieved so I can sieve some finer compost on demand and this is the material which I'm using the most this is the rough sieved compost you can see that uh, it still has some small pieces of uh, some this is a cherry pit some small sticks and maybe even some small stones but this is not a problem this is a uh, carbon it's a biomass here's a piece of stone so it's a mineral and biological fertilizer made right here on the spot we add that usually by the handful per each seedling which we plant and uh, if we need to sieve some finer stuff we use one of the finer sieves I also I, I, I also made another one smaller size so the kids the kids can use it and you can see that this is what it's left when you're sieving the rougher parts mainly the undecomposed sticks and pieces of bark and stuff like that and it's a very fine particle size down here but still there are some aggregates so that's not uh, like an eroded soil it's perfect to use in the garden that was enough compost for the day I'll take you along when I start sieving the actual thing and uh, you can see how easy it, it is to work with the combination of two sieves I'm here by some of our last snowdrops for the season and I'll see you in the next one